Hey there, this is Manish here and I welcome you to the new episode of Codesify YouTube channel. In this episode, we are going to discuss about Firebase Alternative Superbase. So till now, if you have checked my YouTube videos and also my courses at Codesify.com, we have discussed Firebase in very depth and we have created many apps like dating app, grocery delivery app and online courses app, right? So those, those were completely focused on Firebase. Now there is one more alternative to Firebase which is getting popular in all over the world which is Superbase. So if you are aware about SQL databases in which we were used to create the tables okay, in the relational database format for those Superbase is going to be very easy and this is an open source alternative as mentioned on the website for Firebase alternative. Many founders around the globe are using this Superbase instead of Firebase. Those who want to deploy the database in NoSQL format in that case Firebase is the best choice and those who are familiar with SQL queries and want more flexibility and customization then Superbase is the best choice okay all the things which were supported in Firebase are available in Superbase so authentication where you will be able to log in through Google Facebook email phone number all the authentication providers which were available in Firebase are also available in Superbase there are edge functions, storage, real-time database, okay? So you can explore more things at superbase.com. If you are new to this Codesify YouTube channel, I would appreciate if you like, share and subscribe because we are going to upload many episodes based on Superbase as well on this channel, okay? So make sure you like, share and subscribe Codesify YouTube channel. So the today's topic is about storage, okay? So how you are going to upload the image in Superbase using Flutterflow? That's what we are going to study and you will get a basic idea and how to set up the Superbase in Flutterflow. You will get the basic idea about this stuff in this episode. Okay, so we will focus on that and in the next upcoming episodes, we are going to explore all the products available here. We will try to create as many apps based on these functionalities. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is come to Superbase and create your account. Okay, I have already created my account. So I will go to my dashboard. Okay this is the dashboard which you are going to see for the first time and now here i will create a new project i will create a new organization okay i will name it as okay i will select the organization create organization i will name it as From here I will select South India Mumbai you can choose your nearest location from here now what you have to do is go to in the left side scroll down at the bottom you will see the project settings here okay from here you will see the option of API and from here you can copy this okay inside Flutterflow you will go to settings and search for Superbase and here enable Superbase okay from here you can paste the API URL which we have just copied I will go to project settings inside inside API we will copy the project URL I will okay I will copy the project URL here remove this and from here you can copy the key okay NN key and that's it that's all you have to do for storage part okay now now we will go to the storage here okay select the storage option and from here we will create a new bucket you can name the bucket like for example we are going to upload a profile picture so i will name it as profile pics okay i will make this as public you can keep it private in production mode we will learn how to create the private mode and add new policies just like in firebase we were used to create the rules in this we have to add the policies so first take the example with public bucket let's save this okay now here you can see the policies this is the profile pics bucket now inside this you can create one more folder like i will name it as user profiles okay like this now here inside policies select new policy and here we have two options get started quickly and full customization let's see the options available here 
so give users access to folder only to authenticated users so this option will provide access to authenticated users only give users access to only their own top level folder name as uid so you can read all this stuff provide the policy based on the security levels of your app okay so we will go with customization as well so based on your app customization and security policies you can select the option you want here okay and here i will name it as profile user profiles and review save policy okay so these are the policies which we are assigned now that's the only stuff which you have to do in superbase now let's go to flutterflow so here i have added one template here i have to upload one image okay that's what we are going to learn now if you want to get this template so inside this you can add the page and search for profile here search for profile and i have i have taken this template so you can do that stuff here okay now i will go to widget tree here select the image okay inside avatar there is image i will add one action here let's delete this action and add a new action here and from here i will select upload and save media and upload type will be this okay now here you have to give the bucket name and update folder path okay so for the bucket name as you can see here this is the name of our bucket so we will write the name of bucket here as profile pics okay so inside this folder i want to store the image i will name it as user profiles like this here you have the option to let user select so i will select the gallery okay from here you can add the snack bar and there are options like allow multiple images if you want user to allow multiple images you can add that stuff as well so you can explore more of this here now select the image here okay go to properties whatever image user has uploaded we have to add that here okay so here i will go to path or here inside widget state widget state you will get the uploaded file url which user has added okay so this way whatever image you will upload that will be appear here so make sure you have the right policies okay here so right now we have the public access so anyone can access these fix and make sure to get the image you have the right policy set up here that's what we are going to discuss in our upcoming episode so make sure you subscribe the channel and turn on the notification icon as well okay and for the avatar here i will remove this okay only we have to select the image this one and here i have added the uploaded file url if you don't want this if you want to add the image to this container you can add that here as well but i don't want that i want to select the image only okay let's run this now in test mode and see whether the images are getting uploaded to our database or not okay i will select okay i will select the image let's select this crucify okay so as you can see the image is now added here now let's see inside the bucket okay here inside user profiles we have added the two images i hope you learned a new thing here in this episode how to store the image in superbase using flutterflow so in the upcoming episode we will discuss about authentication system and more things related to superbase okay guys so if you really like this episode and want more updates regarding the new episodes do like share and subscribe codeify youtube channel okay so that's it for today thank you for watching see you in the next episode